into the ball, bring your knees into the chest, give yourself a big squeeze. First you find twists, let's let our knees fall over to the left side, gaze goes over the right, melting the right shoulder into the ground. One more, let's switch it out to the other side, moving through center. The gaze goes over the left side. Start to deepen your breath. Bring yourself down to the mat. And give yourself the space for the next hour. When you're ready, bring your knees back through center. Give yourself another big squeeze. And set your uh, feet down on the mat and you stay up into the air. First bridge pose to fire up the core, the back, the glutes. Inch your heels in closer. Big breath in. And then lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Maybe you can widen through the chest enough so that you can pinch the shoulder blades in the back and make a fist underneath yourself. Let's take a two more breaths here. On the next breath, left leg reaches high for the sky. We have ten pulses. You're going to drop the hips and then raise them. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch it out to the other side. Raise the hips up high first and then lift the right leg. 10 pulses here. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the hips high, set both feet on the mat, and lift them up a little bit higher, big breath in. On your exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Windshield, wipe the knees back and forth to release the back. We'll go ahead and move on to happy baby pose. So if you come high, bringing your hands between the knees, grabbing the outside of your feet. You should feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs. You can rock back and forth here, whatever you like. Maybe straighten one leg, then straighten the other. First stretch of the morning might be a little rough. Certainly, as for me, I wake up super stiff. Let's just give it a few more breaths here. Letting go of your hands, you're going to let your left leg come down to the mat. Right leg stays up. Moving on for a hamstring stretch. Right leg comes high. You can either grab behind the right thigh. You can move your hands up the leg. Maybe if you're super flexible, you can grab the big toe. And then you're just going to slightly 
pull that whole leg towards your face. Maybe a micro bend. Don't walk out the knee here. Really feel the stretch. And then move the leg around. Let it feel good here. Just one more breath. And we'll switch it out to the other side. So when you're ready, left leg comes up, right leg comes down to the mat. Same thing here. You might notice that your left leg could be a little bit more loose or even a little bit more tight. So you might need to adjust where your hands are placed on that stretch. But follow it over, it feels good for you. On your next exhale, let everything go. Stretch your arms up long behind you. Good morning stretch. And then let your hands come down to your neck. We're going in for our core warm up. So left knee comes in. We have yogi bicycles. We're going to hook the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. And then super slowly switch out to the other side. The yogi bicycles because they're slow. We're working on the control here first. We have 10 on each side. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, Come down to the mat. This time left leg comes up. We're going to hit the left side first and then the right. Hands come into like a squirt gun kind of grip. You're going to push up and out. So you're shooting to the outside of your left leg towards your pinkies. We just have 10 pulses here, like 10 crunches. 10, 9, 8, 7, come down, knees stay up. Last one for warm up. You're going to keep your hands the way they are in that grip. This time you're going to shoot between your knees so you're crunching right here from the top. Ready and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, let it all go. <clears throat> Maybe windshield wipe your knees from side to side. Next, bring your knees back up into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze and start to rock on your mat. Take a few rocks side to side and then up and down your spine. Massage the spine and then we'll meet in box pose tabletop when you're ready. However you want to get there, you can use 
the momentum from your rock to get up there. But it doesn't matter. We'll just meet there. Okay. From tabletop, start to take organic movement here. That looks a little bit different for everybody else. So whatever feels good for you, just start to get it into the shoulders, into the spine, and the hips. Make sure your toes are untucked here, so the shoelace part of the foot is pressing down into the mat. Real nice and slow movements. Juicy and long. Keep moving. Back to neutral with shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. Let's move through a few cat cows. Drop the belly, look up, breathe in. Exhale, cat pose, zoning through the shoulders. Send everything up, breathe out. A few more. Drop the belly, look up, breathe in. And exhale, cat pose. A few of those on your own. I'm going to grab my water. Alright, back to neutral tabletop, everything stacked, you're going to raise that right knee, okay. raise that right knee up, so it's like this, flex the foot, we're going to stomp the ceiling with that right foot, so you have 10 pulses here, 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it out. Other side. Left knee comes up. Flex foot. Ten pulses. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Four, three, two, and one. And set the knees both down. Maybe give your hips a little wiggle here. Reset. One more cat cow all together. Drop your belly, look up, breathe in. Exhale, cat. Staying in that dome through the shoulder blades. You're going to tuck your toes into the mat. Big breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Hips stand as high as the ceiling. You're pressing the heels towards the ground. Now I'm pressing your chest towards your thighs. This is the first down dog of the morning. Maybe, maybe not. Um, let's walk it out here, bending into each knee. Bringing movement into the pose. Take a big breath in, maybe rise onto the tippy toes and bend the heels back down. Let's do a few more of those. Lift up onto the toes and then press down. Last time, onto the toes, breathe in. On the exhale, tip to the toes to your wrists for a forward fold. Widen your stance just a little here, hip width, hip width. Distance apart is plenty. Bend the knees. We're going in for ragdoll pose. A few options here. We're getting into the lower back. So you want to bend the knees a lot and let everything hang. Hands can grab opposite elbows. You can bring the hands behind the neck. Or you can let the hands come into a fist behind you and then let that fist fall over your head with gravity. That way you're also gaining a shoulder stretch. So whatever you like here, bring movement here, starting to warm everything up, getting off the ground. Let's take another breath. Everybody drop the necks, nod your head yes, shake your head no. 
letting go of the hands, let the hands come back towards the mat, inch the feet a little closer together, big breath in, halfway lift, flat back, so hands come to the shins, super flat through the entire back, and then exhale, fold, slowly lower down. On your inhale, mountain pose, slowly raise up, starting to stack the vertebrae. Hands reach for the sky, gaze follows. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Go ahead and close your eyes here. I like to bring this moment in the class for grounding. So set intention for the yoga practice or just generally bring the mental space to the present moment. Big breath in, hands reach back up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands plant. Feet come to the back of the mat, high plank. We're going to hang out here for several breaths. Get comfortable. You can come down to your knees if you would like. If it's a little too much for the morning. Otherwise, we're here for several more breaths. in. On your exhale, lower down all the way to your bellies. Give yourself a nice adjustment here. Big breath in. Hands stretch out in front of you for seal pose. So arms are long, hands are right in front, and you're pressing your shoulders back, getting a nice curve through the lower back. One more breath here. Lowering down to the forearms for sweet sphinx pose. The shoulders are stacked over elbows. And this time you're going to peel your chest forward to feel that stretch through the shoulders. Maybe look over to the right side and then over to the left. One more big breath in. Hands stack back underneath the shoulder blades, tuck the toes. Big breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Here we are again. Take one more big breath in, shift forward onto the tippy toes, and then feet come towards the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, start to lift up, mountain pose. Hands reach for the top. Hands meet. Exhale, hands come through heart center. Swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. So we'll meet in plank again. Everybody just skip this one. But we have several more breaths here. So make sure we're on time. From high plank, you're going to let your knees come down to the mat. And then you're going to let your chin and your chest come down to the mat too. Let the hips stay up. It looks a little funky. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're super comfortable in this pose. I don't know. So get an inchworm, hands stretch out long in front of you, which feel really good. From here, you're going to shift a little forward, widen the knees, 
and then push yourself back on for child's pose. So forehead and chest continue to be melted into the mat, but this time you're lowering your hips over your heels and pressing down for a nice stretch here. When you're ready, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take your time. Moving through our last sun style A. Big breath in, lift onto the tippy toes. Exhale, inch your feet forward towards your hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, come down. Inhale, rise up from mountain pose. And then exhale, swan back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high plank. We're back here again. This time you're going to start to bend through the elbows, keeping the elbows glued to the ribcage, lower halfway down. Untuck the toes, and then feel your chest through upward facing dog. Thighs lift off the mat. Then exhale, downward facing dog, rolling it over the toes. Here we are again. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Flex the foot, bend the knee, scorpion dog. Give your knee a big circle here, just to get into the joint. And then right leg lifts. You're going to step that right foot between your hands. Left knee comes down to the mat for support and press it. Arms reach for the sky. We're supported here so we can really press into that right hip. And you feel that stretch here. Big inhale. Then exhale, send the hips back for half splits. Toes peel off the mat. And reach for the ceiling. Hands come down on either side for a little bit of balance and support. Today's flow is built from the ground up. So we spend a lot of time on the mat and we finish up lifting off. Let's take one more breath here. And then you have to listen super carefully because you're going to shift forward you're going to tuck that back toe under. Left hand plants, right hand lifts, easy twist. Legs are in a lunge. Keeping it right here. Next, the right hand comes back down towards the mat. You're going to shift all your weight into that front foot into standing split, so left heel lifts off the mat. Take some glute strength, but eventually you just get that left leg up for standing splits. Big breath in here. Moving on into Shiva squats, left knee bends. You're going to pull the left knee behind the right, bring that shin closer to the mat. Big breath in. Exhale, like this. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Left leg lifts. This time peeling your hands off the mat. You're using your balance here. You're going to bring your upper body up. So the body is in a capital T. You might fall out, get right back in. And then this time, you're, you can keep your hands out heart center, but you're going to start to twist. So you're opening up towards the right side, and at the same time, you're letting your left um, toes come down to the mat. You're in this twisty situation. Hooking the left elbow outside the right knee. You can even deepen the twist. We're hanging out in this lunge for a few more breaths. You can open up your arms here to peel through the chest a little bit more. And 
So when you're ready, you're going to raise the upper body, legs stay exactly where they are. Right hand reaches from the back, left hand for the front. Sink a little bit deeper into that right leg, right knee stacked over left or right ankle. And then exalt to crescent. So left hand comes up for the sky, right hand travels down the back. Big breath in here. On your exhale, open up warrior two. So left foot pivots towards the mat, right knee still stacked over the right ankle, hands reach in opposite directions. Relax the shoulders here. Gaze goes over the right fingertips. Maybe we'll sink a little bit lower into that front leg. Reverse warrior, flip that front palm, sweep it across the ceiling. Get a nice side body stretch. Cartwheeling the hands down into extended side angle. So right hand comes down on the inside of that right leg, left hand comes up towards the sky. Several breaths here. And when you're ready, you're going to straighten that right leg for triangle pose. Keep a micro bend in that knee. You don't want to lock out the knee. But same thing here. You should feel that stretch in the upper inner thigh. Reverse triangle, lifting the upper body up and over. Big breath in. And then star pose. I'm going to turn around so I'm facing the camera. So feet are just spread wide apart. Hands reach for the sky. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. And hang out here. If you have a handstand, you can work on that. We're just going to take the stretch. You can widen your stance just a little bit or a lot. Work on your little splits. Whatever feels good for you here. breath. On your inhale, start to slowly come up, whatever that looks like, into star pose. Rebending through warrior two, so right knee bend. You're going to cartwheel the hands down and then move through that chaturanga vinyasa, through that high to low plank, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. We'll meet in down dog, whatever you get there. From down dog, let's take a big breath in. Um, shift forward onto your toes and peel the heels to the mat. One more time, shift forward and then tip to the feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, come down. This time you're going to make sure your big toes touch and that you have like a nice sliver of pizza, I guess like between the feet, so you have space between your ankles. Big breath in, chair pose. Knees come a little bit forward, drop the hips, as if you're sitting on a chair, a very uncomfortable chair. Hands come to the sky. See if you can drop the hips a little bit lower. Maybe see if you can lift the toes up, wiggle them around. This forces you to distribute your weight a little bit differently, which is what we need in this pose. Let's do three more breaths here. Deep into the hips, sit a little lower. And then when you're ready, 
you're going to go back into the forward fold. Let the hands come down to the mat. Maybe walk it out here. Widen the stance just a little bit. So let's hip width distance. Left hand plants towards the mat. Bending through, wait, yeah. Bending through that left knee. Raise your right hand towards the ceiling just for a nice stretch. And switch it out to the other side. Both hands come back down towards the mat. Big inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Moving through the Chaturanga Vinyasa. Moving on to that left side for the left side of the flow. Left leg lifts. Three-legged dog. Flex the foot. Bend the knee. Take a hip circle here, maybe two, getting into that joint. Big inhale and then exhale, step the foot through. Right knee comes down to the mat, supported crescent. Hands come up to the sky. Again, take a stretch here, really pushing into the left hip. Take a few movements. What the heck feels good for you? One more breath. On your exhale, send the hips back, half splits. Toes peel off the mat, face the ceiling. Square hips, hands come to either side for a little bit of support here. Let's take a few more breaths, take the stretch. Shifting forward. Hands are going to frame that left foot. You're going to tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee off the mat. Easy twist. Right hand plants, left hand lifts. Staying in this lunge. Another big breath in. Left hand plants, framing that left foot. Standing split, so you're going to shift all your weight into that right foot or left foot. Right heel lifts off into the air. You can flex that right foot. It makes it a little bit easier for your glute to hold that leg up. Shiva squats here, bending through that right knee. You're pulling that right knee behind the left and then pulling that shin to the mat. We have five here. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Take a moment, recenter on this pose. Peel the hands off the mat, bring them to heart center. And then moving on into warrior three, you're going to tee out the whole body. So you're peeling that upper body off the mat, raising it up. And then on your exhale, you're going to start to twist towards the left side and start to bring the right toes towards the mat. Left knee stacked over left ankle. Right elbow hooks on the outside of that left knee. Keeping that twisted lunge here. Hands open up to fly if you'd like. Getting a nice shoulder stretch here. And when you're ready, lifting the upper body up. You're in a twist of crescent. Right hand stretches for the front. Left hand stretches for the back this time. Big breath in. Right hand stretches for the ceiling. Left hand travels down the back thigh. Exalted crescent. Big breath in here. Exhale, open up warrior two. Right foot plants into the mat at an angle. Left knee still stacked over that left ankle. Hands stretch out in either direction. Relax the shoulders. Take a big breath in here. Flip that palm, sweep it across the ceiling towards the back. Reverse warrior. Another breath in here. Cartwheel the hands down. Extended side angle. Right hand comes down the inside of that right knee. Left hand comes down the inside of that left knee. Sorry, it's still morning. I'm super tired. 
Let's take another big breath in here. And then all you're going to do is straighten that left leg. Triangle pose. Again, keep a micro bend in that left knee. You don't want to walk it out here. Let's take another breath. On your exhale, you're going to sweep the arms up. Reverse triangle. And then easy transition into star pose here. Both feet pivot so that they're facing the horizontal edge of the mat. Widen your stance. And then widen it some more. Toes face each other. Big breath in. Start to hinge at the waist. Pushing the hips out, wide-legged forward fold. Let's take another stretch. Start to slowly hinge up, back up through star pose first, and then rebending through that left knee, warrior two, cartwheel the hands down, chaturanga vinyasa moving through that high low plank, we'll meet in downward facing dog. From down dog. You're going to shift forward into a high plank. Moving on into our next core series. We have toe taps, so right toe taps the outside of mat, left bringing it in. Left toe taps and then bringing it in. 10 on each side. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, have super slow mountain climbers. Right knee into the chest, then left knee into the chest. Just have 10 seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to high plank. Keep it here. Give me five more breaths. And then we'll move on to downward facing dog. Take a water break, towel off, whatever you need. We have our last flow and then some nice stretching. This is a very recovery based power flow. I usually don't teach my flows this way, but it's an ADM on a Sunday. <laughs> so I figured there's only so hard that I can make myself go this early in the morning on a Sunday. Um, and I shouldn't require that from anybody else who's watching. If you want something a little extra, there's plenty of more power, power flows through the rest of the day. But this teaching style is a little bit new for me. At least this restorative kind of aspect to the class. So um, just keep that in mind, I guess. Okay, now we're facing dog. Big breath in here, right leg lifts high into the sky, and then you're going to bend that right knee, shift forward, right knee to right elbow, bring it in, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, back up, and then crunch knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen, three-legged dog, crunch right knee to left elbow, shift forward, make contact. And then inhale, lengthen. Big breath in here, raise that right leg a little bit higher. Exhale, step it through, rise up, high crescent lunge. Right knee stacked over that 
right ankle. Yep. Back heel is off the mat. Hands reach high for the sky. We're just here for a transition. And then you're going to shift forward into warrior three. So you're launching your whole body forward. Left leg comes off the mat. If you fall out, you get right back in. Hands can stay out in front of you like you're catching a beach ball or at heart center, whatever you like. My balance is super funky this morning. Okay, from here, you're going to stay right here. And then you're going to let your upper body teeter forward. Hands come down to the mat for standing splits. So we started our last flow doing the opposite. And now it's kind of like a full circle. We're bringing it back. Okay, standing splits. Lift that left leg a little bit higher. Flex the foot. And then you're going to bend that left knee. But this time you're going to reach around with your right hand and grab the outer edge of the foot. So you're grabbing the shoelace part of that left foot. Okay. And so, and then you have this nice little bind here. You're going to push with your foot into your hand enough to start lifting the upper body up into reverse dancer. I'm going to try to do that without cueing it because I just lose my breath when I'm talking. So big breath in and then push up. Maybe lifting that back knee a little bit higher. Left hand stretches for the sky. Let's take it a few more tries. Might take two or three to actually try to get it. That's fine. And then try to hold it for a breath or two when you get there. From reverse dancer, you're going to with control, let go of that foot and then bring that left knee through for one-legged mountain. Knees and legs is at a nice 90 degree bend. We have 10 pulses here, crunching that left knee towards the ceiling. So we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep that leg lifted, fold it over that standing leg or funky chair. So left knee splays out, right ankle is over, or left ankle is over right thigh, and then you sit low into that chair pose that we've been in before. Let's take a few breaths here. Really sinking low here if we can. A little bit more work left to do. You might hate me for it here in a second, but it'll be nice. Oh. Okay, keeping in that funky chair, you're going to squat up, so you're going to straighten up a little bit and then squat lower. We're working the outer edge of. I guess the leg, like the thigh, kind of as the muscle travels up towards the glute. So it's like this piece right here. It's kind of hard to hit without weights. And I've been having a really hard time to get that muscle group to work. But I found this piece. Okay, 10 more pulses. Lift up, shift down. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, don't mind me, four, three, two, one. Let both feet come down to the mat. Walk it out. It's a lot of work. Hands come up towards the ceiling, mountain pose. Exhale, swan deck down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga vinyasa. We got the other side. And then I promise you can stretch. Stretching is my favorite. Okay. Down dog. Left leg lifts high into the sky. You're going to crunch left knee to left elbow. Shift forward, bring it in. 
Inhale, lengthen. Left knee to nose, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Last time through, left knee to right elbow, cross body, make contact. And then three-legged dog. Big breath in here. Exhale, step the foot through. Rise up, high crescent lunge. I'm just falling all over the place. All right, left knee stacked over left ankle. Super strong through that back leg. High crescent. Big breath in here, and then you're going to launch forward, warrior three. We've been here before. Flex the right foot. And start to let your upper body teeter down slowly towards the mat for standing splits. Once you get there, bending through that right knee, using your left hand to grab the shoelace part of that foot, and then pressing into the hand using your foot, rise up for reverse dancer. Again, I'm gonna try to do that without talking. Give it a few tries. Hold it for a few breaths when you get there. Let me tell you, teaching yoga and doing the flow at the same time has like totally changed the way I teach yoga. My flows have changed because it is so difficult for me. In a studio, I can just say the cues and usually people get them, but because now I can't see what anybody else is doing, I have no idea what's going on in your mat. So, here we are. Okay. Give it to yourself. Let's all meet in that reverse dancer. And then with control, let go of that foot. And then bring that leg through one leg in the mountain. Right knee stacked over right ankle. Ten pulses up here. Crunching that knee up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Funky chair. This time the right ankle over that left thigh. And then sit low into the hips. Oh my goodness, I can't even stand on my left leg. Okay. I might not be able to do it this morning. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got it. If I fall into my door here, please um, don't judge. Okay, sinking a little lower. Sinking, really feel it burn, and then keep sinking. Yeah, nice. Let's hang out here for a few breaths. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do our little ten pulses. Everything stays up. 
Um, actually, everything comes down except for the shoulders and the toes. And then exhale, high boat. And then inhale, low boat. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. High boat, high boat, high boat. Don't fail. Come on, just this last part. Big inhale here. Exhale, low boat. And then you're going to crisscross your legs. Ten, nine, eight, oh, sorry, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, almost all done. Last piece, you're gonna keep your back on the mat. You can use your hands and place them under your lower back if you need to. Legs come out. And what you're going to do is you're not, your legs are not up here. They're lower towards the mat, but lifted. So you're working that lower core. You're going to write your name in the air using your toes. If your name is Samantha, you're not writing Sam, you're writing Samantha. If you have a three letter um, first name, then you're going to write out your last name too. Okay, just let's finish this last part. When you're done, you can let everything come down. We're done with the hard part of class. I don't know about you, but I'm out of breath and I'm tired. Okay, <clears throat> right leg comes up to the sky. You're going to fold it over that left thigh. And then you're going to grab that left thigh and pull it towards your face. You should feel a stretch right here on the uh, outer edge or the outer yeah, outer region of your right thigh. Usually we do this on the other side in um, sleeping pigeon, but I don't know, a lot of people have taken up running or like quarantine walks, a lot of that stuff. And when you do sleeping pigeon, if you don't do it correctly, and since I don't have any way to fix cues or adjust, you can really injure the knees. And so the whole point of like recovery yoga for runners or people who have taken up exercising right now is totally ruined if you don't do the pose right. It's much easier to get the same stretch this way on your back and there's less chances that you can mess it up. So if you've been practicing yoga and you want sleeping pigeon, please don't let me stop you. Switch it out to the other side when you're ready. Can you guys believe that it's like mid-May already? March took forever. Like February seems like it was a year ago. But then April flew by. And then it feels like these last two weeks of May didn't even happen. I don't know. My Sunday morning thoughts. Okay. When you're done with this, Knees come up to the ceiling. We're going through our last bridge pose. So we start off class with it. As you remember, we're going to finish it with class. Finish class with it as well. Full circle today. I don't know why. I just needed it. I guess. Big breath in here, and lift the hips up. Your thighs should feel like they're squeezing together. 
but they're parallel, so your knees are never going to touch. Or they shouldn't be touching, I would say never. Um, anyway, that's kind of where you want to feel the burn, how you want to feel it. See if you can raise the hips a little bit higher. And on your exhale, let everything go. Windshield wipe the knees back and forth. The last stretch that I'm going to cue is happy baby. Um, maybe because it's Mother's Day. Maybe at some point we're all happy babies. I don't know. It just feels really good. If you want anything else, you have the rest of the day to do whatever you want. Mwah. Okay, you have a few options here. You can either go into final Shavasana and peace out and lay on your mat for a little bit. You can sit in a comfortable seat and find some mental space to just breathe for a few minutes. Maybe turn on, turn on a nice song, whatever you would like. Um, this is where I say goodbye. I think I had two of these today, super excited. Um, I promise to bring all the sass and attitude to next Sunday's class. My name is Leela. Um, I really miss seeing my students, so if you want to chat, my Instagram handle is LeelaJuliaO. Um, if you go to the Black Swan Instagram, I think they have me tagged and a bunch of stuff, so you can find me there. Um, yeah, so I hope to see you guys next Sunday. Make your friends come and do early morning yoga. And if you have any questions, just reach out. And again, um, these live streams are free. They're donation based. The studio has been really generous and has been giving all the donations to the teachers, which has really helped me because I'm a law student and I lost my law clerkship because of the Rona. So, um, yoga's kind of been my main way for an income for these last couple months. Anyway, um, I hope to talk to you guys later, and please have a great rest of your day, and don't forget to reach out to your moms or any motherly figure that you've ever had in your life. I'm sure they'll appreciate it.